So if you're having a problem with the mini split, I thought I'd go over the most common causes of this and how you might be able to go about fixing it. And I'm gonna put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But the first thing to do when a mini split's not working is to check to see if there's any error codes on the unit. Because very commonly when a unit's not working, you'll get an error code that'll point to what the problem is. So for example, right here, this mini split is saying E1. And if you go look at the error codes for this unit, it, E1 error code, it's gonna be an indoor outdoor units communication error. And that basically means the wiring going in between the two units is having some kind of issue and so first thing to do is check and see if your unit has any error codes on it because it'll point you to what a problem is and so if you're not getting no error codes or anything like this then the first thing to go and check is going to be make sure that the remote control is set correctly if it's supposed to be cooling be sure that it says cool on the left here and that the temperature is set low enough to turn on the unit or if it's set on auto be sure that it's set low enough sometimes some of these remotes can be kind of hard to read over here whether or not it's on auto heat or cool but basically just be sure that it's set on in the right mode heating or cooling and the temperature is low enough or high enough to make the unit come on so number one check your remote and be sure that it's set correctly number two is to check the indoor filter is clogged up because these get really dirty they should be cleaned every so often because they get filled up with debris and all kinds of stuff but basically pop open your front cover and check out these filters and be sure that they're not all clogged up and if they are all clogged up and a lot of dirt's on it be sure that that indoor condenser doesn't have a lot of debris inside of it because if it gets a lot of debris inside of it the air won't be able to flow past it and it'll cause problems so the next thing to do is check these two filters and be sure the inside unit looks clean and next up mainly if you're not getting no power to the unit is be sure to check for a blown breaker or something wrong with, with the electrical and this will mainly be if you're just not getting no power to the unit so if you're not getting no power to the unit be sure to check for a blown breaker or something wrong with the electrical and the next thing is going to be to make sure that that outdoor condensing fan motor is spinning and that it's not blocked because that outdoor unit is going to need good airflow in order to work properly so if there's anything blocking it weeds or something got set in front of it or behind it or anything along these lines then that's going to cause problem and that fan should be spinning and so you could check that out and be sure that it's spinning but the next thing is go check that outdoor condensing fan motor and be sure that it's not blocked and that it's working and the next thing is going to be that there's a line set leak somewhere and usually when this happens, it means there's a bad flare. Although it could be something else, something could have hit these lines and something like that. And if that happens, then it's going to be the next thing on the list, which is going to be that it's low on refrigerant. And if the unit is low on refrigerant, the first thing is you have to find the leak, fix it. And then once the leak is fixed, then you vacuum it back down. And then you add the refrigerant in by weight with the weight scale. I made some videos on this. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. But the next thing on the list is that it's low on refrigerant. And then the next thing is going to be that there's a bad communication line wiring and this is the wire that runs between the indoor unit and the outside unit and it'll be the ones labeled like right here one two three and inside will be labeled one two three there might be there might be four or five wires it's going to vary depending on the mini split but basically these wires going from this outdoor unit to the indoor unit is having some kind of problem usually you'll get an error code something like an e1 or something like that but if you're having issues then you can't go through you can't test these for like continuity and things like that and make sure there's no opens or anything along those lines but the next thing on the list is going to be is that something's wrong with the communication wiring and the next thing is going to be just that the indoor unit has failed it got clogged up too much so the blower motor can't blow out air correctly there's something wrong with the wiring one of the circuit boards has gone bad or just some kind of issue with the indoor unit and it's just having a problem and it needs to be repaired like i said usually you'll get error codes with this and that'll be the last thing on the list was that there's just something wrong with the outdoor condenser and the outdoor condenser is going to have circuit boards and it also contains the compressor so if something happened with the compressor then this is where you'd want to go look but the last thing on the list is going to be that there's just some kind of issue with the outdoor condensing unit and so that's basically it i just want to go over some of the common causes of when a mini split's not blowing out cold or hot air like i said i'll put links down below for everything i'm looking at if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day